rather than allowing uh, them to communicate with representatives from the Taiwanese Ministry of Justice or Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, Beijing is, is exerting uh, total control over these individuals, despite agreements that it should be a, a joint process with Taiwanese officials. By pressuring these countries to detain and then forcibly return Taiwanese nationals to Beijing, it's pushing a political uh, narrative that all uh, individuals of, of any Chinese ethnicity, all Taiwanese nationals are really the exclusive property of China. And I think that's the way that the party sees this, whether it's Taiwanese nationals, whether it's Chinese born Swedish or British citizens, really the, the Chinese Communist Party is exerting a sense of full control over anyone that they feel to be within their purview of power. But Taiwan's sovereignty is not the only issue at play here. International extraditions are supposed to follow certain norms and principles like the right to a fair trial, the right to life, and prohibitions against torture. Everything we know about the Chinese justice system tells us these things are far from guaranteed there. So are there also other obligations that these states should have? A fundamental principle of international law is that of non refoulement And that means that a state is not to. They're absolutely forbidden, prohibited, for sending an individual back to a country where there is risk of persecution. That means torture, uh, denial of a right to a fair trial, various forms of discrimination based on ethnicity, race, religion, nationality, political affiliation, the death penalty. It's, it's a list of issues. The problem with China is that these concerns, these gross human rights abuses, whether it's the denial of a fair trial, the risk of torture, these are widespread and systematic. It really has less to do with sovereignty, with nationality. It's a fundamental issue of international law, international human rights, that no country, regardless of nationality of the individual in question, should be extraditing, allowing deportation of an individual back to China. What else can other countries do about this? How should they respond to Chinese extradition requests, for example? If there's current extradition agreements that are being negotiated, of course, we would advise that that process is suspended. If extradition agreements have already been ratified, we would like to see moratoriums, revocations, following the legislative process in those countries, but putting an end to active extradition agreements. So when a country, any country, sends an individual to China where they are at risk of gross human rights violations, they're also acting in direct contravention of their own international human rights obligations, and we would like to see all of this changed.